Hi, David here from RadiationHealthRisks.com and what we're going to be doing is we've got a smart meter here on my house. We're going to be doing a, a product review for uh, something called a smart meter guard. So before I do that, I'm going to explain to you a little bit about the, the smart meter and why you would need a smart meter guard. So basically your average smart meter, it puts out about 60,000 microwatts per meter squared. To get, put that into perspective for you, um, the United States safety limit is 1,000 microwatts per meter squared. Um, most other countries are not even that high. They're usually about 100. Most European countries are between 100 and 200 microwatts per meter squared. So 60,000 uh, microwatts per meter squared is 60 times the U.S. safety limit, which is the most generous safety limit. Anyway, um, this is not actually a smart meter, even though it looks like it. This is a, a digital meter. The difference between a digital meter and a smart meter is the power company still has to send somebody out. They just got to drive by the house, though. They don't have to get out of their car. And this sends out um, through Wi-Fi. It sends out the, the meter reading, and so they can pick that up from um, just from driving by. A smart meter sends out, it ha it's a lot more powerful. It, it sends a message um, to the nearest cell tower, which then relays it to the power company. And so the power company, they don't have to send drivers out. They can, right from their office, they know what everybody's smart meter is reading at any given time. So this, when I measure this, this is usually putting out this digital meter about three, four hundred, five hundred to twelve. I've seen it as high as seventeen hundred. Um, this is a handy dandy tool called a high frequency analyzer. It measures uh, microwave radiation, also known as as high fre or radio frequency radiation. And it's directional, so wherever I point it is what it reads. And it measures up to two thousand uh, microwatts per meter squared, so twice the the safety limit. There's a little adapter you can get on it uh, that makes it read higher, but I don't have it on here. So what we're going to do is we're going to measure this uh, smart meter real quick here and so you can kind of get an idea of the reading. And then we'll put the smart meter guard on and uh, see the difference. So here we go. Sorry for holding manually holding the camera. This is truly a independent product review here. So hopefully you can see that. The lighting's not that great. Um, but it's 500, 800, uh, 200, 700. If we wait here long enough, it'll go up. I've seen it as high as 1,700. It usually goes up to 11, 1,200. So hopefully you can see that. But anyway, that gives you an idea of what it reads there. Hoping it'll jump up here once, just so you can see. So now if this was a smart meter, uh, it would be pegging the meter. You'd just be seeing a, a one at the far left, right right here. That means it's maxed out the meter. So anyway, that kind of gives you an idea of what the meter's running. It's usually between, like I said, four, 500, 300, all the way up to 1200 in that range. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna shut that off for a second. There, it just went up to 1200 right as I shut it off. Okay, so we're gonna put the smart meter guard on here. I'm gonna pause the video for a second so I can do that. Okay, so hold it here. You can see it's running 786. Maybe I'll get you a little closer. Hopefully, you can see it. 786, 5, 4, 6, 7, 6, 7, 8. Oh, there it went up to 10, now back down to 6, 7, 8. So you can see that it puts out, it cuts out about 90% of the, cuts out about 90% of the, of the microwave radiation when you have that on there. Um, when I get to somebody's house that, like my daughter's house or somebody that has a smart meter, I'll try to do a review on that so that you can see the difference because those things, uh, I told you what those are like. So anyway, I hope this helps. I uh, appreciate it. We'll talk to you in the next video.